people shot and rushed to the hospital after a shooting outside a basketball game at Davidson High School. Well, that could have happened at any school. Anytime kids aren't safe and anytime communities aren't safe, that's always a conversation that needs to be had. And now school board member Dr. Reginald Crenshaw is ready to start that conversation, how schools can be safer even after hours. I'm a basketball official also, so I see the uh, hostile crowd just from the game. And you can imagine uh, young people bringing situations from their community into the schools or into a public event trying to get revenge. And we just can't have that. We can't have our young people and adults being subjected to that type of uh, 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 lack of control in terms of uh, uh, fights and that kind of stuff. This comes at the same time that Mobile County Public School System is set to approve nearly half a million dollars in grant money for school security. We're the largest school system in the state of Alabama. We have uh, uh, right at 80 uh, different facility, elementary, high school, and middles but we're going to have to do something to make sure that they are more secure. He says he will be asking the superintendent of Mobile Public Schools to begin a study to see how much it will cost for metal detectors at all activities after school, including football and basketball games. We got to address it uh, before, uh, you know, someone gets serious hurt, although the shooting there was not life-threatening, the injuries were not life-threatening, uh, it could have been, and other innocent people could have been, been hurt from that.